Hello everyone, so if you've ever used a window manager, then you know that stuff like logging out or turning off your PC are usually done in the terminal itself with commands like reboot or shutdown or uh, power off whatever and I just found an amazing tool at it's like a menu that basically shows you a whole lot of options for stuff like locking your screen or logging out and so first of all I was using a script so if I go to Rofi scripts power menu dot sh so this is just a simple script that brought up a Rofi prompt with three simple options but there's a better, even better service that I found about and it's called W logout. So if I click this little power button here, it brings me this W logout interface and you can see how it's really nice, looks really great and I also managed to make it work with paywall. So if I set a different wallpaper like this and change my color scheme, you can see how the color here changes as well which is nice, I'll show you how to do that. So first of all, W logout. So how do you install it? Well, if you're on Arch Linux, let's just borrow W logout and then you can install it from there via the AUR and if you're on any other repository or any other distro then if you go to the WL, this WL uh, GitHub repository here you can see that it's available for pretty much a whole lot of distros so if you see uh, Debian or Ubuntu then you can install it there if you're using Fedora then you can install it as well and for other distros you have these uh, uh, build commands you just copy this go to your terminal and paste it in and you can build it like that and so that's w logout once you install it using it is very simple you'll just type in w logout and it will bring up the screen and then you can press escape on your keyboard to exit so first of all how do we configure this well it's actually pretty easy so i'll leave the link to this repository down below first of all you're gonna have to copy over the default default configurations so those are in Etsy W logout Lego and Etsy W logout style.css. So if I go to my terminal here and I just type in sudo cp then Etsy W logout W log out. Make sure I spell correctly. And the first thing we're gonna copy over is the layout file without any extension and the area we're gonna copy it over to is if you cd into your .config folder you can make a directory called uh, w log out make sure to spell it correctly and then once you do that you can just copy this over so etsy make sure to sudo cp etsy w log out layout or you could just press star here and then just type in .config w log out which will basically copy over all of the files in this folder to this folder so that's just really useful and once you uh, copy this over first of all let's open the style.css file which is where we configure all of our styling and it's really easy and also really easy to get it working with uh, pywall so if i go to w logout slash style.css here's my style file it will look exactly like this by default i just added a few stuff so first of all for pywall users so check out my other video on Pywall and how you can generate color schemes with it. It's an amazing tool. You can add this line here, uh, add import URL and then file, uh, home and then your username dot cache wall. And then in there, what you're going to have to do is go to your terminal cd dot cache wall and then create a file called colors waiver dot css. This is the same file that you will use for this waiver here. And once you create that, it will automatically fill itself with all of the data and you have, don't have to worry about anything to change it or anything. It will just automatically do its thing and then you can change these colors to add foreground, add foreground, add background, add color 12, whatever you want to. And once you do that, you can just think around. It's basic CSS. For example, this window here has a transparent background with 90% opacity and as you can see, the text deck text color is basically the foreground color as well and background is set to this background so this right here and then once it's hovered over or active it sets it to a different color a lighter color you can select color 12 which is going to be the really good color and you can also change the icons so you can see how this has specific icons 
then change it now talking about the other configuration file which is the layout file so if you just edit that so you can it's just called layout it's a very simple kind of configuration basically sometimes you use this the lock feature for example might not work that's because you have a different lock screen so you can change that to the lock screen of your choice I'm using hyperlock you might be using something like s lock or bed lock screen whatever and you can just change that same for all of these stuff here if something isn't working then just replace the action here you can also change the label which is just the name of this and then the text is the text that displays on here so stuff like log logout all of that and that's w layout it's super easy to configure and if you want to know how i made this little uh, widget here in weba and if i click on it it executes this whatever and i can just go to my weba configuration real quick so that's weba config.json c and in here first of all we need a power widget so you can see how the should be custom power yes here it is here is custom slash power and in that uh, widget itself or module so if i scroll down it should be somewhere around here let's just search for it uh, power i believe it's called yeah here it is so first of all the format it just shows this icon uh, execute is just to echo this which basically shows this icon on weba and then when you click it it executes w logo and then you just have to set this exec if to true that's pretty much the module with paper and once you do that you have this beautiful little uh, lock screen kind of thing i hope this video helped and bye bye